This is Shivani. I'm a simulation specialist with Go Engineer. In this video, we're going to look at how to install your simulation license. Depending on what kind of license you bought, the method to install it may be slightly different. So I'm going to show four different ways to install this license. The first assumes you already have purchased a SOLIDWORKS license and installed it. So now you're upgrading SOLIDWORKS to premium and needing access to your simulation software. The second is you've either purchased an add-in to your existing SOLIDWORKS license and you need to refresh that installation. In the third scenario, you've bought a separate standalone simulation license. And in the fourth scenario, you're adding a simulation license to an existing solid network license. Starting with the first case, upgrading to SOLIDWORKS Premium. This has two major steps, and they actually apply also to upgrading from a SOLIDWORKS license to an add-in with simulation. Go to your control panel, Programs and Features, scroll down to SOLIDWORKS, right-click Change, and then go over to Modify in your Installation Manager. This will take you to your serial numbers. In this scenario, you don't want to be adding a license anywhere at three years, so don't check any boxes because your simulation license is paired with your existing SOLIDWORKS license. Instead, what you need to do is go to the product selection portion of the installation manager, scroll down, and make sure SOLIDWORKS simulation is checked. If it's not, turn it on, hit next, and continue with the install. The second step is refreshing your SOLIDWORKS license so it understands simulation is associated with it. You'll need to go to Help, Activate License, and then choose your SOLIDWORKS license from this menu. Go through Next and let that reactivate. It should only take a couple seconds, and then SOLIDWORKS will have access to the simulation add-in through Tools Add-ins. Now for the third scenario, we're using a separate standalone simulation license. Get to your installation manager, get back to that serial number add-in area, hit the checkbox next to SOLIDWORKS simulation, and copy and paste in your serial number. Important to notice here when I say a separate license, that means the license keys are different than your existing SOLIDWORKS license key. You'll know it's different if you have different numbers and letters here at the end. Now for our fourth scenario, we're adding a simulation license to an existing solid network license. You'll need to navigate to wherever your solid network manager is installed. Usually this is on someone's server. Hit stop on that license manager, then go to modify and choose to activate or reactivate your license. This is going to send it back to the SOLIDWORKS servers to be refreshed so it can pick up that new simulation license. Leave this pane the same. So leave your defaults in, hit next once more, and then choose your solid network license. Generally you'll just have one. Next again, let that reactivate. That should take just a couple seconds and then it should pick up your new SOLIDWORKS simulation license. At this point, if you have installed SOLIDWORKS simulation on all the clients, they'll be able to pull a simulation license and activate it through their tools add-ins. That finishes up the four scenarios that are most commonly required when someone buys a SOLIDWORKS simulation license and how to install those four scenarios. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.